Hello again. Well, by this time we've covered all kinds of different command line apps. Calcurses, word grinder, editors, all kinds of different things. The problem that we're running into at this point is, with the command line, you can only do one thing at a time. You type in the command word grinder to bring up your word processor and the full screen goes to word processor. Or you could type calcurse and your scheduling program comes up. Or something like Vim or Emacs, it's all full screen apps. The thing is, it doesn't have to be full screen apps. There are ways you can do windowed apps within text mode. This week we're going to look at a thing called Tmux, a terminal multiplexer. It'll let you break your windows into smaller panes that you can resize, reorganize, and do things more than one thing on the screen at a time. Let's take a look at that now. Okay, so to install Tmux, you do the same thing you do with pretty much every other command line. And it's going to tell me that it's already installed. Well, it's already installed. So, sudo apt install tmux. To run it, it's very simple. You just type tmux, T-M-U-X. Boom. And not too much changes. You see you still got the command line prompt at the top, but now you've got a thing down at the bottom. Mine's customized a little bit. It's got this pretty little blue theme down there. But you can see that it's got my username Brian and bash down in the middle and the time of day and the date and my server name on it. Just to show you that Tmux is running. It doesn't do anything by itself. So, what does it do? Well, you can run apps just like always. Here's Vim, for example. And it's full screen and it looks just fine. Look, I know how to get out of Vim. It's a joke. Okay, so anyway. Inside Tmux, you can split things into windows. Like I said, I just did uh, Vim. Calcurs brings up my scheduling program. Again, it's full screen. We don't want full screen this time. We want to run two things at once. So we'll get out of this. Let's split our screen in two. To make anything happen in Tmux, you need the command key to make Tmux do a command. And that's Control B. B is in Brian. Why is it Control B? Because it is. I don't know. You can change it if you want to. It's very customizable. You can change it to be Control T for Tmux if you wanted. But I've left it a standard here. Hit Control B. And at this point, there's two things you can do. You can split your screen down the middle vertically, or you can split it across horizontally. I'm going to split mine down the middle. So to do that, I hit the percent key. Control B, percent. Split it down the middle. And if you look at the, si the symbol for percent, you got the two little circles with the slash that goes down between them. It kind of looks like that percent sign is splitting down the middle. So that's how you remember it. Now this pane over here on the right, I'm going to split it across. And to do that I hit Control B and the double, parenth the double quotation mark, the two little lines next to each other. Why is the two little lines next to each other instead of the I don't know, but it is. So just remember it that way. Again, that's something that can be modified. So now you can see on the screen we've got the big open area on the left and an open area on the top right and the top bottom right. And they all have the little command line prompt. So now we get to decide what we want to do with them. Uh, before we do that though, we need to be able to move between them. And again, that's control B and the arrow keys. I'm going to move up. You See the blue highlighter goes to the one on the top right. Now I'm going to move to the one to the left. Control B, left. And you can see the cursor there is flashing too. Okay, so you can move between them. On this side, let's do, I don't know, let's look at look at a file. Let's edit uh, my vimrc, if I could type it right. Okay, there's that. And over on the right, control B, right. I think I missed it. Control B, right. Now we're up at the top, top right. 
Let's bring up that scheduler. And there's that. Move down to go to the bottom right. And I don't know, let's see what's running with HTOP. We haven't talked about HTOP yet, but we'll get to that someday. And they're all running. Now you can see the one over in the bottom right, the HTOP, the CPU and everything, is active. I'll now move over to Vim and move around through that file a little bit. So you can see I'm actually working over here on the left. I'm going to actually type something here. This is me typing at the same time. I can't, can't type and type, talk at the same time. Anyway, you can type over here in the left pane where Vim is. You can see that the HTOP is working on the bottom right hand pane. And the time is changing if you look at the CalCurses screen. So all three of these are actually active and running right now. Okay, so I've got these three things going. Let's say I want to add a fourth thing. I am over here in Vim, over on the left side. And let's say I want to do the same thing in Emacs. Run them both, just to make people crazy. Control B, quotation mark, and what was there? Splits in half. The Vim stuff is still up here at the top. And if I want to, you know, move through it, I can. If I want to move down to the bottom, I hit Control B and down arrow, and I'm down here at the bottom where I can do anything I want. Now I can edit that file. And there's no real limit to it. You can have a dozen, if your screen's big enough, you could have a dozen things running at once. If, for example, you wanted to add one more thing, split this one in half that way, and there's a list right there with, uh, okay, we don't have that installed. But right now I've got five different little windows running. They're all active at the same time. And this is all on a remote terminal off at DigitalOcean someplace. This isn't on my current machine. So if you want to run all your stuff at one time, very simply, try Tmux. There are some more things you can do. I showed you how to create the panes and split the panes. When you want to quit, the panes, you can just type exit, and the pane will shut down. And depending on which ones you want to get rid of, okay, I'm here over here in Emacs. Let's close out Emacs with Control, -X, okay, and exit again. And then the Vim goes and expands to fill up whatever was there. Let's go over to, uh, where are we, that one, and up. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell where you are. You got to look for the colored outline. Let's clear out my schedule really want to quit yes exit so now we're down to just two things let's say we want to resize one of these right now they're split down the middle they're equal sized if we want to make the one on the right bigger we can do that we can change the sizes what you do is control B and the colon a lot like using the colon to get to the command mode in Vim which we haven't really talked about yet you also can use the colon to get to the commands for Tmux. You notice the blue bar at the bottom of the screen blanked out and now it's got a colon in there. You can type resize pane and now you can do a command D for down, U for up, L for left, R for right. I'm going to move this pane left, expand this pane left by 10 characters. Watch what happens. The pane on the right just got bigger by 10 characters. Of course, the pane on the left got smaller by 10 characters, obviously. And we can do that again if that still wasn't big enough. Resize, pane, left. Let's go 15 this time. It didn't do it. I typed it wrong or something. There it went. Okay. And you, again, I did a left to make the, the line moves left. You can also make the line move up, make the line move down, you move it to the right. L, R, U, and D. Left, right, up, and down. And there are 
additions you can do to make this moving a little bit quicker. You see, I have to type all that. We're not going to get into that this time. Okay, so if I just exited out of both of these apps, I got the HTOP on the right and Vim on the left. If I quit those programs and typed exit, the little windows would shut. I did that with CalCurse a minute ago. I made it go away. But suppose I don't want to end the programs. I can do something from, like, I can do something called detach from this session, which I will do now. Control B and D for detach. Now you can see that Tmux goes away. I don't have that line at the bottom anymore. I'm just out here at the command line prompt where I can do command line prompty kind of things. Uh, I can do anything I want at this point. It's just a standard command line. Tmux has gone away basically. But it hasn't exactly. It's still there. If I want to see what's what I've got left in Tmux, I can type tmux space ls, just like getting a folder directory listing. You can do the same thing with Tmux. It's short for list sessions. And there's only one right now. I could do more though. Actually, let me do another one. Tmux, and I run Tmux, and see, when I left my last session, it was split down the middle. So this one I want to split the other way. Not that way. The other way. There we go. And on this one I will put in the scheduler again. And here I'm just going to have a directory listing. So now I've got two things separated top and bottom in Tmux. Uh, control B and I'll detach. Okay, and now I will look and see it and list my sessions from Tmux. And now it shows two of them. Well, the thing is, both of those sessions of Tmux are still running. The one that split down the middle with the two things on each side, and also the one that split across with the things at the top and the bottom. They're still active. They're still running. And if you forget what you're doing, you can have a lot of sessions going at some point. To connect to these, you tmux attach session and then you add that little number you see the first one there starts with a zero and says one windows created saturday yada yada and the next one is one so you got session zero and session one going if you had a bunch of different sessions you could have higher numbers but i'm going to attach to session zero And I did forget something. Okay. It's attach, attach section minus T0. Tmux, attach, attach session minus T, and whatever the number is. And boom. I got the H top over on the right, the Vim over on the left. The split is in the same place I left it the first time. It hasn't changed. Let's get out of this. D. I detached, I didn't exit. So now I'm going to connect to session one. And there's the top and the bottom one. This time I'm going to quit both of these programs, exit to kill the top window, and I'm going to exit uh, CalCurse the normal way. Do you want to quit? Yes. Command prompt. I'm still in Tmux. You can tell because of the blue stripe at the bottom that's for Tmux. Exit gets me out of Tmux completely. Now I'm going to tmux list sessions, and now I've only got the one again. So now I can go back in tmux attach session minus, minus t, and the only one that's left is session zero. Now if I wanted to, I'm not going to, but if I wanted to log out of my server, turn off my computer, go to dinner somewhere, come back, turn on the computer, log back into my DigitalOcean server, this would still be there. So you can actually set these things up and leave them run forever if you wanted to. I'm going to attach to this session, and there's my thing still running. This is a really useful way to long-term run apps. Okay, so now where are we? Uh, Control-B to the right. Quit to exit the app. 
that we're on the left we're not on the right exit to make that go away quit to make that go away exit to make that go away and now we can tmux list sessions and there no servers running so we're done there's nothing left of tmux if I wanted to start over just type tmux control B and the quotation mark control B and the percent sign and that's it now some things you can do we're not going to get into this but I'll show you the idea of it now one thing you can do is get into the configuration files and there's a configuration file .tmux.conf it's in your root directory or in your home directory and it I've got it modified just a little bit it looks like this the top line is a theme line that's where the little blue at the bottom comes from with the little pointy arrows it makes it look nice it's totally unnecessary but it looks nice these two lines are remapping the keys it's got the little up and down pipe symbol to split things horizontally it's got the sideways dash to split things vertically makes it much easier for me to remember if you notice I got the percent and the quotation mark wrong a couple of times the percent and the quotation mark are defaults you're gonna start that way but if you want to change them you can add these two lines and what that does is control B pipe splits it vertically it's an up and down symbol on the keyboard that splits it up and down vertically control B minus the dash splits it sideways this I find is way more easier to remember because the little percent on the quotation mark they're not that easy this is easy to remember but that's not the default okay and that is tmux terminal multiplexer you can now run as many command line apps at a time as you want real multitasking with a very basic server works on DigitalOcean works on a Raspberry Pi works on any of the regular computers it's great for multitasking okay so I will see you next week and of course if you can't wait for next week don't forget to pick up the book going text mastering the power of the command line sold at all the usual book places like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>